Hi everybody, this is Steve here. Um, I do lead code problems to go through data structures and algorithms to help people prepare for coding interviews to ace through all of the coding and system design questions. Um, today we're going through lead code problem 1281, subtract the product and sum of digits of an integer. Before we dive in, just do me a favor and hit that like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap that little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you'll get a notification instantly. All right, with that said, let's take a look at that at this question. This problem first appeared last night um, during the weekly contest. Uh, it's the very first question of last night's contest, so it's basically a warm-up question. If you know the technique of... Okay, let's take a look at the, this question first. The question is asking, Given an integer number n, return the difference between the product of its digits and the sum of its digits. We'll walk through, like, one example is good enough. Say, example 1, we're given this number, 2, 3, 4, right? The output is 15. How do we get to 15? We first calculate the product of every single digit of this number, 2 times 3 times 4, we get 24. And then we calculate the sum of every single digit, 2 plus 3 plus 4, we get 9. So 24 subtract um, minus 9 is going to give us 15. That's how we get to 15, this number. Very super straightforward. I don't think there is any other uh, problems could be even easier if you know the technique of how to extract every single digit of a given number. So basically, uh, we'll use, uh, this is a common technique I highly recommend any one of you guys, if you are new to this channel, or if you just started um, programming, or if you just started preparing for coding interviews, this is a basic technique, which is to use a while loop, or you can use a for loop. Uh, basically, use a loop to, um, and then use modular and uh, integer division to get every single digit of a given number. So we just start coding uh, right away. There is no like uh, fancy algorithms or complex combination of data structures in this uh, in this problem. So we'll just do it right away. So in sum, we'll use two variables. One is to hold the sum as we are calculating, we are iterating through every single digit. And then another variable called a product. Um, this one will initialize it to be one because any number multiplied by zero, we cannot initialize to zero because any number multiplied by zero is going to be a zero, which is meaningless. And then we'll have a while loop. And while n is greater than zero, while n doesn't equal to, equal to zero, we'll just continue uh, getting every single digit. So uh, so the algorithm is, we'll just go through, uh, quickly go through a couple examples so that people can understand what's, what's this technique that I had referred to many times. So say this n equals to 2, 3, 4. How do we get like every single digit, we'll use n modular 10, right? So in this case, it's going to be 2, 3, 4, modular 10. It's going to give us 4, right? So we get the uh, the very right, um, the, the digit on the very right side. And then after that, what do we do? We can use this, do integer division by 10 still. So in this case, it's going to be uh, 234, 234 integer division by 10 is going to give us 23, right? So next number becomes, when we uh, go back into this while loop, the next number is becoming 23. So each time we can just uh, continue doing this, so we just uh, we just uh, cut one digit off, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. So next time it's becoming, I'll just continue like this, next time it's going to become like 2. And then next time it's going to become zero. So once we hit zero, we're just we're just breaking out of this while loop. That's it. That's the algorithm. That's that technique. Very simple. Uh, okay. Let's let's go back to the code. We'll use another variable to. We'll just call it digit. Uh, how do we get the digit? As I said, we can just use modular. This modular uh, operator. So digit uh, n modular ten. Sum, so we'll do calculate sum is just a digit plus, and then product will be multiplication. We'll multiply the product by this digit, and then here we'll do integer division from this n. So it's going to be 
10, like this. Oops, this is wrong. Uh, division first, and then in the end, we'll just return product minus some. That's it. That's the entire code. Um, I wrote kind of uh, verbosely just to help people understand um, the entire algorithm. There should be like another way to make it simpler, but I don't think it could be further simplified. It's basically a bit, uh, you, you could trim a few lines to combine a few lines into um, one line, but the algorithm is like this. Now let's hit submit. All right, let's accept it 100% in both in terms of time complexity and space complexity. That's amazing. I don't know how accurate that is, but anyway, this is the algorithm to solve this problem. Um, the takeaway from this problem is basically you need to um, understand or memorize this technique um, if you get asked during an interview. And this is a very common one, just a, and, and very helpful and handy one to extract every single digit of a given number. That's it for this problem. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.